Hello, I'm Joe Wren. 10,000 Hoosiers will be able to keep their medical coverage through April. After the state announced today, it's extending coverage for people currently covered under the Healthy Indiana Plan. Currently, Hoosiers who make up to 200 percent of the federal poverty level, or about $47,000 for a family of four, are eligible for coverage. That was set to change at the end of the year, and those losing coverage were encouraged to sign up under the Federal Health Care Exchange. Governor Mike Pence would rather state lawmakers create a state-run preschool program targeted toward low-income families rather than a program for which all of the state's children would be eligible. Quality, uh, outcomes-based pre-K programs for disadvantaged kids makes a difference in the lives of those children and their ability to be successful in education. The leaders of the Indiana Senate's Democratic Caucus announced in September they wanted the state to create a universal preschool option. Pence proposes to create preschool vouchers for families with incomes of up to 185 percent of the federal poverty level. And independent analysts say the overhaul of Indiana's criminal code will increase the prison population unless the law also pushes prosecutors and judges to direct more offenders into community corrections programs. But the goal is to reduce the state's prison population. Analysts say that won't happen because of another change requiring offenders to serve 75 instead of 50 percent of their sentence. Now, quick check of the weather forecast tonight. Mostly clear lows around 12. Then tomorrow, partly cloudy. Daytime highs reaching 28 degrees. Lows around 2. Wind chills negative 5 degrees. And then in the five-day forecast on Thursday, mostly sunny, 21 the high before a 60% chance of snow, rain, and maybe some sleet on Friday. For more news, just go to indianapublicmedia.org.